now how to plan this is a very very critical part in overall planning you know why to plan then now if you are very clear about what to plan then how to plan every organization have definitely some template uh, whether you are following the cmi or you are not following any proper structure like iso or anything but uh, every organization may be having certain maybe some people will project managers might be doing it in excel but what is the basics of the project plan is you need to break down the complex work into pieces that's where the whole point is because so that it is easy to track so when we say that you the whole work need to the complex work because when we start uh, if especially in the new development projects in software or in any other construction business that in the initial phase when the client is giving requirement it might feel like a ocean i have dealt with such project like if you are building an erp a huge scale project from the scratch then it looks like a like an ocean oh my god like we have to do so many things but that's why it's a human tendency so it is better to break down into phases and that's how the agile project management and all comes into the picture where the client gets involved and it is built in phases so iteration after iteration and then it has been dealt and if you are following the sdlc methodology the traditional methodology then it is better to break down the complex work into pieces then comes identify dependencies focus on true dependencies see in a project there could be n number of dependencies because when it comes to the real time project when you are handling a large project so there could be dependencies on resources there could be dependencies core sometimes it is also dependent on the clients because uh, the client will have the major functional knowledge and they will dictate your direction of the project so there could be n number of dependencies but what are your true dependencies where if those are not it is actually if those are not uh, identify your project could fail here's uh, here here uh, this is a focus point because in expert project management if you see the project managers who are mostly successful they do all these things methodologically they are organized when a project comes they will try to break down the complex work into pieces because simple tracking makes your life easy as a project manager then identify the dependencies and the constraints and estimate how long each piece will take the estimation plays a very major role because if in um, in majorly software projects the estimation not even software project uh, like any other project the estimation tells you how much time you are going to take how much cost is involved in the project whether you will be um, within the uh, budget or not so all these things depends on estimation and i'm sure in practical situation the estimation never it is uh, it cannot be never perfect because the initial when we are in the when in the bidding stage of the project the client would have given a overall high level requirement then comes one estimation and then comes the next estimation when you come to know the detailed requirement then your estimation kind of keep changing so always you should have a process of uh, convincing your customer that this estimation can change and the reestimation needs to be approved if it is logical then comes adding so it these all has to be mentioned in the scope of the work when the contract is given because many a client they don't feel that they will be estimating and they have illogical demands that yes one shot estimation is enough it's never possible because estimation keeps changing because your requirements keep changing so it all happens then adding contingency it is definitely required for budgeting then definitely considering the risk why considering the risk is the major part and yeah uh, when i started as a project manager at the very very uh, fresher level then definitely i was not able to find risk that much because i was we overlook certain things sometimes the risk comes in many forms we would think because sometimes the risk like for example i can give you an example that we have identified the risk 
but sometimes the risk takes more prioritization because it needs to be handled currently we need to prioritize this risk and have the mitigation plan accordingly for example in software cases itself sometimes the team when in the initial stage the configuration tool or certain tools which your project is using it uh, it might not uh, we no, might not feel yeah that tool is required currently we just uh, say that yeah we will require it later in the later uh, phases of the project but it can happen that without the tool you can't uh, your team can't move forward so there are certain risk and the risk considering the people involved like if this resource takes leave or long leave then your projects can impact um, you know you can have a high impact or you uh, in those situation you need to have a backup so the uh, risk identification and mitigation is the main where the project are failed or th they can be you know you can avert or you can avoid failures by identifying the correct risk in your project so it requires a day to day monitoring of the project then also there is representing the plan in a format that the team board and the stakeholders will understand and follow so we'll see all those uh, break down uh, the complex that is your wbs gan chart i'm sure all of you might have you might have used it in your projects and also it is just a brush up of these knowledge because we are talking about project management and definitely project management starts with the planning with wbs and uh, but i will give you a tip what help what can help you which can help you in practical projects like identifying dependency i'm uh, giving you an uh this end of the session exercise you just go to your project and see first of all are you using a wbs are you breaking down your complex work into pieces if not start doing it and second is how you are doing it like whether you are in the wbs whether the deliverables are the end product or just you are defining a percentage complete on it so just analyze it and second is uh, second the main priority point is have you identified the dependencies on your project because uh, i'm sure i can give you an example but for your project it might be totally different it could be a people issue it could sometimes trust me it is sometimes the dependency could be the team dynamics because uh, the project is so knitted that it is codependent on other uh, other task and uh, it needs to have a team team dynamics so that could be also a dependency that one work needs to be it's a sequential project that one team uh, your project itself is subdivided into teams and one work has to be completed then only the other can start so there are complex projects in the world so you need to identify what are the dependencies on your project and then come up with the, whether it is on track it is because dependencies will try we should try to remove the dependencies if not possible then should it should be under control then estimating time definitely you need to go back to your project see how you estimate and have you added any contingency and how you do a risk management how you do risk man management for your project